Let's see how many riders come out to race the restarting of this women's elimination. So this is great to see, Joe. And well, you hear it in every sports event now. It's the sort of tried, tested, worn cliche. We go again. We certainly do go again. So I'm going to presume that the riders that were originally eliminated won't take to the start. I'm looking down at the track, and that seems to be the case, Joe. Yeah. War wounds on show. Of which Katie Archibald also has a few. There's Helen Esters. You saw her brother working on the bike, trying to get it ready. As well as not having their team mechanics with them at this event. There are some mechanics in the track centre, but largely self-sufficient at these events. Canadian fans trying to cheer on both Sarah Van Dam and Maggie Coles Lister. For the second time tonight, we check if everyone's present and correct. Riders, commissaires alike will be hoping it's the final time tonight. They check everyone's present and correct. A restart of the women's elimination after that awful crash. And the neutral lap. We were early into that race. The nerves on the faces of Team Archibald. There for all to see. We're ready to go. We restart. And wonderful to see Olivia Balasaita back on the track as well. She was alongside Danny Khan. They're both there. They're both racing. They were the worst off. So 14 riders on the track at the moment. As you said, Danny Khan just towards the back at the moment. A little bit of work to do to come around. Elimination will happen next time. We just heard the bell go there. But it is Khan and Balasaita, the two worst affected, it seemed anyway at the time with the injuries, who are fighting to stay in this race. It's going to be Balasaita who tries to sprint around. Is there room on the track? I'm not sure it's going to be Balasaita. They just found nowhere to go there. She's the first to be eliminated in this restarted elimination. Thirteen riders left. Khan just trying to follow the wheels and survive as long as she can here. Opportunity, the base of the track there to move. Not always happens in this race, that. Keep your eyes on Gillespie at the base of the track as well as Khan tries to sprint. And this time it's Gachiola, I think, who's going to go. Let's double check on that. And it is Antonieta Gagliola who is eliminated. We're hearing that Richardson and Lewis were unable to start with the restart. Yeah, so two British riders are unfortunately unable to restart due to that crash in the elimination. Of course, we do have still Danny Khan, Casey Archibald and Nia Evans in the race. Keep your eye on the back of the track again here. That looked like the rider in red at the bottom. We'll get double confirmation because Calm was close as well as with Sisters. But in the end, it's uh, Amelie Winter Olsen. Amelie Winter, who is eliminated, the Danish rider, finishing in 11th place. Connor survived well despite visibly being uncomfortable here. Yeah, I think it's natural to be nervous again after a crash like that. So fair play to for getting back on the bike and getting stuck into this race and surviving a couple of eliminations there already. And again, she's having to move up. She's having to sprint. She's in trouble here. But is she going to go? I'm not sure. That was tight. Cumming was there as well in a little bit of bother. And it is Emma Cumming, the rider from New Zealand, who's told to go and sit down again. Disappointment, that was close. Once again, that bell rings. So Danny Khan just following Nia Evans at the moment. She's just got to get past one rider. Is she going to dive down the track or is she going to go over the top? Uh, there's nowhere for her to go. No 
gas in the tank, nothing left in the legs. It's a valiant effort, though, from Danny Khan. Already a winner tonight. Visibly hurt and banged up after the crash. She gets good applause as she's off in 10th place. Stenberg down at the back in the red, the Norwegian. Key for Katie Archibald. She goes as early as possible. She makes her way to the front. It looks as though Helen Hesters might be the rider to go here. It is Helen Hesters of Belgium. Very young rider. First real experience at this level in this type of competition. We're here with her brother as well. I was just thinking Lara Gillespie's riding very well here for Ireland, so she's kept herself out of trouble at the moment, just at the bottom of the inside line of the track. She's got the shortest route around, but she has been working very hard to maintain that position at the front. And I'm just worried, is there going to be a rush around her this time, potentially? Sedge Corva down at the bottom. Gillespie just in front of her. Oh, and this is tight at the back. Sedge Corva in a bit of bother. Two Canadian riders as well. Lily Williams was down at the bottom of the track. And it is Sevchkova. Sevchkova who goes. Eighth place for the rider from Czechia. And this is non-stop. As soon as we finish talking about one rider out, that bell rings again. And they've got to go again. Yeah, down to our final seven now. So pace off a little bit compared to what it was at the start of the race. Lily Williams got a little bit of work to do, but I think she's going to have space to sprint around. Has she got the legs, though? Oh, it's a tough test. I'm not sure she does have the legs, you know, and she is waiting for that call. She hears her name, and that'll be that. Lily Williams does, in fact, finish in seventh place. That's one bit of good news for Katie Archibald, who, by the way, just continues to race this race like she always does. Around halfway through, you see her come to the front. Yeah. And she doesn't generally move from there. You're on the back here. A couple of Canadian riders in trouble, both at the top and bottom of track. Van Damme and Coles Lister. And it is Maggie Coles Lister who has to say goodbye to this race. She takes a sixth place finish. She was the rider who's furthest down the bottom of the track. Yeah, always that tricky place there with absolutely nowhere left to sprint when you are at the bottom. Uh, but again, good news for Katie Archibald for the overall. Maggie Coles listed was third overall coming into this evening. It's Gillespie and Archibald at the front. A reminder, though, if you're at the front here with a bit of track still to go to the finish line, there's nowhere to hide anymore, nowhere to surf the wheels. You've got to time that assault to the line properly. And not able to do that this time, I think, was near Evans. And Evans finishes fifth. Yeah, Nia Evans racing well this evening, missing out last weekend in San Quentin due to illness. So great to see her back on the bike this weekend. So fifth for her in this elimination race. It's proving a very good race for Katie Archibald again now, whatever happens. But with Stenberg still in the mix, she has to make sure she survives. And here she goes, makes her move. Acceleration's coming with about a half a lap to go now to make sure she's one of those first riders across the line. Yeah, and Stenberg racing really smartly here and sticking to that wheel like glue of Katie Archibald. Sarah Van Damme is the next rider to be eliminated, and then there were three. And those three, as well as Archibald, you have Gillespie, you have Stenberg, and they are watching each other here. That is Gillespie makes her own move. It's a big one to go with a lap to go here. Is she going to pay for it? And she may well do because Stenberg comes around her. Archibald is there as well, but Gillespie's trying to find something extra, Try to find something else. And she's still going the shortest way around the track here. Stenberg it is now who's in trouble. Can she come around? Gillespie's fighting all the way. It's Archibald, and it's a photo finish at the back between Stenberg and Gillespie. And it's Gillespie who's called out. So it's the top two who are fighting to be top dog on the night. That was a really interesting elimination because Katie was trying to get Stenberg out and separate the points between the two of them, but it is the two top two overall into the final lap. Is she going to do it again, this time on home boards? Queen of the elimination, queen of British cycling, queen of endurance racing, the best, the greatest, Katie Archibald does it again. 
she increases her lead. She's top of the league. And barring any disaster in the grand finale, she will be top of the charts tomorrow night when it comes to sorting out who takes home the Champions League trophy. It's Katie Archibald all the way, delighting the London crowd.